everybody, this is Carlos R. Ocelot, former and current and future legendary legend. And uh, you, of course, have probably uh, been uh, watching what we've been doing with the League of Legends team. With the Run It Down, it's like half a podcast, kind of, right? Pretty fun. We have come now with the Rocket League team. Instead of running it down, we called it G2 Overtime, but it's pretty much the same fucking thing. Welcome, everybody. I have the three guys from the Rocket League team, Rizzo, Chicago, and JNAPS. How you guys doing? I'm doing, I'm doing good. I'm doing, doing good, good, Carlos. We need an order. I see all of you are wearing yeah. caps. Um, I, I don't want to ask why that is, but uh, you probably have a shitty hair, don't you? Very, yeah. No, I don't have a bad. I just in, bad. in Europe, are haircut places open, Carlos? In in Berlin, like, you... it is open, bro. We are back to normality it is open? almost. That's why. You we're back we're, to normality. We're still almost. shut down. I know, dude. I'm I shut, know. Yeah. How, shut how, down till July. Oh my God, July? Seriously? Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, honestly, I, I was going insane at home. I was really. I, I needed to just get out and, and, and do things. How do you guys deal with all this coronavirus situation? I mean, you're gamers, so I guess it wasn't, you know, the worst thing. But um, how did that change sort of the way you, you know, you, you, you do your day-to-day? -day? Like, my day-to-day -day didn't change all that much, I guess. <laughs> but I did start streaming a lot more because I felt like a lot of people were just at home. And every time I streamed, people were like always thanking me. Thank you for making my quarantine easier. So I just kind of kept <laughs> streaming. And now I've been streaming for like almost two months straight every day. Yeah. I missed one. I missed one day, but I usually don't do that. I usually do like three times, four times a week or something. That's pretty good. And, and yeah. how, just as, as, a, as a team, how do you feel, Jainabs, that, that things sort of um, changed or got better or worse as Corona was happening? Things that got better during the corona, I guess we were playing more video games because we couldn't do anything else. But when like the corona really hit, we were all living in New York together. So we were like not doing much anyways. That was the season like grind. So it didn't like change that much in terms of how much we were playing. But it hurt like a lot. We couldn't go out for like uh, celebratory dinners or anything after we won. Um, that's about it. Like we didn't do as soon as it happened. We were just inside until we all went home. So, so, Jaina, so everybody is like, you know, everybody that follows the team and knows that you guys move together are probably mm -hmm. pretty shocked about what you guys were able to accomplish uh, after you moved together. What do you think are some of the, you know, things that changed for the better when, when you guys decided to, together with us, you know, just moving together to New York and, and you know, just, just spend every fucking hour of the day together? Um, I think it's just like... There's a lot more effort you put in when you're actually like there as a job. Like everyone knows they have their job to do, but when you're home gaming, like it's up to you to put in your like amount of time. But when you're all together, like you all want to uh, like show each other that you're all like in it a hundred percent. So like scrims, especially you were a lot more, like a lot more um, intensity and stuff. Everyone was putting in like a lot more effort just compared to playing at home. And you know how well we do when we boot camp, so it just kind of felt like yeah, that. True. It was like a three-month boot camp. So, so Chicago, for you, have you lived alone, or not alone, but let's say just not with parents, you know, before this moment? No, but I was always looking forward to it, whether it was like going to college and going live in a dorm or like the G2 house. I was always like wanting to try living independently. Or at least not with parents and basically i really liked it and i don't know i want to try it again for maybe a longer period of time and see how it is and maybe i was just like get my own apartment one day because i like it so much but yeah it was a lot of fun while i was there for the three four months yeah it's it's, it's true that when you taste that freedom like at the very beginning you're like you know, they're very happy because you're alone or you're free, so to say, then you're sad because you don't have the food and stuff like that. But then you're slowly happy again. You know, you're like, okay, well, I get it. No, I get it. Like, I can't see yeah. myself sort of going back for a long period of time. That's at least what happened to me. I don't know. And especially, you know, with the job you have, you know, having that freedom and having the ability to decide how your day is going to look like, you know, what you're going to eat, where you're going to eat, uh, you know, and having that sort of, you know, freedom pretty much to choose what you're doing is, is I think, a, a game changer when you're de dedicating your life to what you're doing, you know. 
but from the team, who from you, and this is something I struggled with mm-hmm. when I lived with my teammates, who from you likes cooking and, and you know, who's like, like, who likes to spend time on creating delicious food and healthy food? Well, us, out of us three, it's none of us, but, <laughs> but Jonza would be, Jonza would be like the main cook, but yeah, there you go. Chicago, Chicago was trying at the end. Like he was yeah. like trying to learn how to cook. Yeah, I like, mean... I'm not trying to brag myself, but like uh, towards the end when both of them left, like those last two weeks I was there, um, I made a pretty good egg sandwich, I will say. So that is how my <laughs> Were you out cooking Jaza in the last two weeks? Uh, for sure. I don't think I saw yeah. Jaza once down there, but I was down there every night. My grind was on. <laughs> I didn't see him once. So, yeah. So, yeah, so you've been cooking for a big period of your life, no? Oh, shit. Why am I talking to Yazo? That's. <laughs> That is not supposed to be in this in this call, right? Well, you know what, people? This is why I'm not a host. Fucking deal with it. I'm, I'm going to make you content team. Don't edit this shit out. This stays, okay? You hear me out, this stays. Does so, Yasuo is the manager of the team and, and also coaches the team. And he has a past, you mean a chef as well, right? Well, wasn't he a chef? I like, works in a restaurant, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's here! Years. I'm the best host! <laughs> I am the best host. You don't see him, but you hear him. That's Yasuo. Okay, Yasuo, go ahead. Why don't you introduce yourself and tell us what you cook? I mean, in the past little bit, I really cooked much because I got lazy because quarantine. But yeah, I worked at a restaurant for, for a few years. He cooked us a steak as soon as uh, we won regionals. That was Ooh, Yeah, sure. it's the reason that yeah. shipped us in some nice steaks. And uh, I cooked them as a, like a, a reward dinner for winning regionals. That's that was right before Jinx left, so it was like a nice family dinner for that family meal. First nice. time we used the the dinner table together. Wow, yeah, really? the first and only time we used the dinner table together. Yeah. <laughs> We're learning well, about it's like a, around there's here. like a little bar kind of thing we okay. we eat on. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So I don't know what an egg sh- sandwich is supposed to be. Uh, to be absolutely honest with you, um, but I'll take it as it was delicious. Um, it was. It okay, was. I'll, you know, I'll take. I just take it. I just take it <laughs> yeah, as, yeah. as a given. Do you guys follow any other teams from G two? I follow CS a lot. Okay. Um, yeah, I follow CS. League, I've been following League for like only a year, basically. <laughs> what about you, Riza? Uh, I don't. I don't fully follow the teams, but if I see them like playing a game, like they're just on playing, then I'll watch it. Um, but I watch like League Worlds every year. That's so, good. Yeah, so yeah. it's like in, 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 I guess in, in important tournaments, international tournaments, I guess you just, you know, if you know we're playing, you just put it on and sort of yeah, hopefully root for basically. us. So if you if you follow our CSGO team, JNAPS, mm-hmm. then you probably saw um, that we got fucked in the grand finals the other day against Australis. You probably saw that, yeah. right? Yeah. Hopefully you saw, you watched the games before that, which were pretty yeah, good. Yeah, the phase one. Yes. Yeah, the phase Fuck one. phase. We don't talk about Stratis, okay? Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I don't know. I think I think we have a mental block against them. I have no idea, bro. They always they always beat us, and then their League of Legends team, thankfully, is pretty shitty. So it's a is <laughs> is a good balance, you know? It's a good balance to have. It'd be fucking terrible if those guys would win in two games. But apart from Rocket League, or I say from Rocket League, sorry. Is there, is there any other games you like playing? Um, you know, on your on your hobby time, whether that is Valorant or whether that is you know whatever it is, just go ahead, all of you, one by one. Risa, you start. All right. Um, <laughs> I've been like most of the time I don't play other stuff, but recently I've been playing Minecraft. <laughs> recently, you play Minecraft forever. Yeah, but not like I don't know. Like every day after I'm done playing yeah, Rocket League, yeah. like now I've been hopping on like that sort of thing. And, and like what are you just survival, survival thing, thing like normal thing. survival thing? No, right now I'm actually doing some role play thing with a bunch of people. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's I'll that's be fun. honest, I never thought I'd be into it, but it's been really fun. And it's like it's kinda like Dungeons and Dragons where like you have like a dungeon master, he's kind of invisible and he's making like stuff kind of just happen for the town. Dude, that's so, good. I, I like that cool. actually. Bro, I'm yeah, such a nerd for these things. Yeah, people have their secrets. The town's a bunch of rats, so <laughs> So no, move, no, moving no. on, moving on. Jane, what about you, man? I usually, after Rocket League, like I'll go into my own Discord with my friends from Nova Scotia and we'll play a bunch of different games. But right now I've been playing like Fallout 4 modded a lot. That's pretty fun. I play Minecraft also. 
Um, I play CS, like Valorant with friends. Just group up. What rank are you in Valorant? I'm plat 3 right now. Phoenix main. Yeah, I mean, the dirtiest, I only play the dirtiest Phoenix. Type, yeah. Because it's got the flashes and the mollies. It's like a CS. Yeah, it's pretty good. He got nerfed, though. I think that 200 on the flash is too much, bro. It's too much. Oh, yeah. Way, way too much. Uh, you know, I'm actually immortal too. Solo Damn. queuing alone. Solo queuing. Well. What'd you get placed? I got placed in bronze. I got placed in silver too. Damn. And then I went up just solo queuing. Maybe dual queuing sometimes, but yeah. <clears throat> it's it's a really fun game. I actually love Valorant, man. Good game. Pretty good. Very good game. What about you, Chicago? Uh, usually my mainstay I always play uh, is CS, but like whatever games become popular or come out so like valorant right now i'm playing a lot of a couple of months ago i was playing a decent amount of siege um but yeah usually whatever new game releases or like i can play with other people um usually fps that's what i usually do but usually always cs and then another game like right now it's valorant or siege okay. but valorant's been a lot of fun so Yo, can i guess what uh, champion you play in valorant I'll try. Uh, I'll give it a try. I'll give okay. it a try. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you two guesses. Two guesses. Brimstone. No, I used to, though, at the beginning of the game. But one of the people I play with mains him now, so I'm I'm off of Brim. Okay, that's the one I would have 100% said, because yeah. of, uh, it's your play style, play, the way you are. Yeah, you know? I used to play Brimstone. Okay, okay. I like him, though. He's a good character. So then then I'm going to give you... Oh, oh, if you said two... I'm a, I'm very smart by the way. I don't know if I'm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you said two, it's because one of them is a little weird. Oh no, because it's a little weird. The one the champion you main. So that's why you gave me two tries. That's why I will say um, Viper. No, no. I just, uh, I don't think he's Breach. weird. I mean, yeah, br I play okay. Breach a decent Breach, amount. Breach, yeah, you're I just like Alpha. Breach, you know, you're just like Alpha. I like playing like Breach. I would say Breach, Cipher, and Brim are my three. Like, yeah. I usually play in competitive. That's so yeah, good. yeah. I I I definitely only play only play Phoenix and yeah, Phoenix and Raze. Yeah, exactly. as long as you're not playing exactly. Yeah, exactly. Jed, I love Jed though, but she's so useless. Oh, yeah, if I see a Jed on my team, I know I'm taking a loss. <laughs> yeah, I if if they take away my Phoenix, I will automatically take away their Jed. I mean, oh yeah, just automatically. Pick the jet and solo lose the game, of course. But that's good. I actually really, really love Valorant. So, out of the team, and I think I know the answer to this question, but I want to ask you who do you think is the most fun guy in the team? And I want everybody to answer at the same time, okay? Okay? okay. Uh, you guys understood? Okay. I'll just yeah, make the count. Okay. Who is the most fun guy in the team? Three, two, one, go. Brazil. Okay. Go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I don't know why you wouldn't say Rizzo, Rizzo, but uh, <laughs> why would I say up. myself? You're you're being hypocritical. That's what you've been right now. <laughs> Rizzo is the most fun. Why do you why do you, 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 you build ego showing right now? Can't even pick <laughs> <him up. laughs> He's too <laughs> humble. He's too humble. Why do you think you were be uh, you, you were able to build this community, Rizzo? Because it's actually insane. I think that you know before. Um, you know, when, when back in the day when we had Kronovi, it was like everybody was like talking about Kronovi and yada, yada, yada. But I feel like over the years, it's so clear that people just gravitated towards you. Why do you think that is? Uh, I don't know, like a specific reason, but I just, the like very broad thing would just be that I actually stream. I stream a lot and then I do YouTube stuff as well. So that just kind of gains an audience in general. Um, I've been told... <laughs> I've been told that I'm just easy to like as well, so maybe that helps. I don't know. Okay. I mean, it, maybe it's. I think it would be easier for like somebody else to answer the question if I'm being completely honest to you, because it's hard for me to just say like, "Oh, I'm you so great. You I'm, I'm so great and so cool." So if somebody else does it for me, then I'll are be you okay. low key dim <laughs> d diminishing my ability to host? No, no, of course not. I thought so. No, you're, you're the so. best host. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chicago, go ahead. Talk, talk to me about Rizzo. Why is he so funny? Why is he so pretty? Why does he have such a great community? Go ahead. Don't forget <laughs> handsome. Don't forget handsome. Where to start, man? It started in 2000. Oh, yeah. where, where were you born? When were you born? 2000. And then 2000. That's it. Yeah. Um, no, I think Rizzo is just like. 
he doesn't he's not boring like most Rocket League pros. Like most Rocket League pros just stream, play ranked, do the same thing on shuffle, but like Rizzo's plays ranked, do, runs tournaments, does other, streams other games and he's pretty funny and like his humor isn't like so one sided that not a lot of people like it, but it's more like funny that no matter what kind of humor you have, like yeah, anyone like, no, can enjoy it. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're so right. You're so right. Okay, so, so you guys know me as a very sellout uh, host. Um, so I had a, I had a conversation with with Jnap some time ago, and he told me that his favorite car is actually an i8 Roadster. Is that true? Mm-hmm. Hundred true. Ab- that's absolutely true, isn't it? Okay. So BMW, this is not a, this is not a joke. It's his favorite car. We have to fix something here. We have to uh, let, let me make a couple of calls to to Mr. BMW. Okay, I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. What's your guys's? Okay, Rizzo, what's your favorite? Uh, checking on probably. Google on the left. Yeah, that's good. Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Just get, okay. Favorite Red Bull taste. That's an easy one. Oh, that is an easy one. Uh, peach. Peach, peach is pretty solid. I I don't think I've tried all the flavors. But there is a peach whoa, flavor. Whoa, whoa. Yo, is that a peach Have flavor? Tried all the flavors? Yeah, we got peach flavors over here. You don't got God them. damn! They don't send that, they don't send that to you. <laughs> Where is my peach flavor? Content him! <laughs> I've never seen the peach flavor. I have the acai I think, flavor, which I really like. Is the purple one? Do you test that one? There's um, it's like a double. F- no, it's just peach. I think. Just peach. Oh, peach ne- peach nectarine. That's what it is. There's peach a little, there's nectarine. A little something I definitely yeah. don't have that one. That one sounds very very. Very very it's nice. It's very good. It's All right, so, let, sure. so let's get to the meat, okay? So, Rizzo, I want you to know I was so fucking happy when you got the MVP after winning region- regionals. Like really, really happy. How did that shit feel? Uh, well, I don't know if this is the same for the other two, but usually, I mean, it felt good to get MVP, of course. But like when you get an award like that, it doesn't. Maybe for us, because it doesn't feel as satisfying because I know how much it was like a team effort. Uh, I mean, maybe especially in Rocket League or something. So like, sure, I think maybe I did play well, but it's not like to discredit the other two of how well they played as well. So when you get the reward, it's like, oh, that's kind of cool, but, <laughs> you oh, know. Shucks. Oh, yeah, shucks. Yeah, the other guys, the other guys yeah. played good too. <laughs> so, but it, you I mean, know, it's cool I, for I, sure. Yeah, but you got, you got that bag though. Oh yeah, sure. There was a bag secured with that one. <laughs> Wait, what? Bag? Yeah, I'll take that then. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. What bag? What is that? You get extra money for getting. Oh MVP. really? I had no yeah, idea yeah. about that. I had no Wait, idea. Twenty five, twenty five hundred American smack. God Rooney. damn! <laughs> yeah. God damn! And you still have a shitty haircut. What's going on, man? <laughs> you know, you can't. No, get a, I don't. Damn, damn. You can get a legendary damn, haircut, dude. You just no, called Adina's haircut shitty. Yeah. <laughs> So, so, you know, I, I can tell you already, um, you know, fr- fr- from last year, just looking at what happened last year to what happened this year and seeing how there was a lot of, um, you know, a lot of just shitty comments towards the team, towards some of you individually, like it just, it must feel really, really good from your position to say, you know what, people? Fuck you. Now look what we yeah. did, you know? <laughs> so uh, as a team, you guys have gone through hell and now you've, you're have you going through heaven, I guess you can say. And and But you've seen, you know, h- how the work that followed hell and the work that followed heaven, you know, it was like. So uh, how, how does it feel right now? Like, I think we, like, obviously when we were with Crow, we had those bad, like, world's performances. Then you, we pick up Chicago and get second at season seven worlds. Like you go from a low to a high, and then we go back from getting second in worlds to getting eighth in league play. So, and then first in the next league play. So I think it's just like you really have to once you're doing well. Like it's the hardest part is staying on top, right? I don't want like, to add what comes to next. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> but like that's the hardest part, honestly. Is you could do well, but doing well consistently like over and over for you Reed, how, how did it feel sort of coming from a different team coming here getting second and all of a sudden in the following uh, season you just you guys just shit the bed together but you shit the bed and yeah then, i mean and the redeem the redemption arc yeah uh, again that 
Saturday where we lost and then we officially got eighth place. And we knew kind of like that tournament's basically almost your career on the line. Um, that was probably that was the saddest I'll ever be probably playing this game because that's like somewhere I've never been and I never want to be again. And it kind of just made that like it was so bad that we all knew we never wanted to be back there again. So like after you put in the work and the house and all that and we it pays off and you get first and we know that we can keep doing it then, um, yeah, it feels really good. But, again, if you show any complacency, then we know we could be back where we were at the bottom last season. So I think that the fact that we know not to be complacent, that things will be a lot better this time, and we won't, we won't get last next season, I promise. So how did it feel for you, Yazo, from your position? You are a bit less tunnel vision than the players, obviously. So how did that all feel? <laughs> It was really rewarding seeing how much effort the guys put in, especially with like all the materials that were provided to them with, with the house, with having East Ping for an online season, having to go through losing the chance to even go into worlds with the current situation, everything. It, it was, it was heartwarming. It was, it, it made me very proud of them. I, I told them after the season was over that I was very proud of them. Um, it's, it's as a coach in Rocket League, it's hard to gauge how much effort or how much, of a bonus I actually was because I know like Riz always talks about it's a team effort and I like to, to think that uh, I pitched in a little bit but it's more my feeling was just they did such a good job bouncing back and the, the amount of work they put in was like unparalleled against any other team in the league so it was just really good that's good so looking at the fact that there's been no worlds this split um, or this season Do you do you think we we end up taking it all against Dignitas, Vitality, all these guys? Yeah, he use trash right now. He use trash. Oh, there you go. I wouldn't say that. I don't know. No, no. I, I would say the that. Read. I would say the majority of you use trash right now, but there you go. Vitality, but Dignitas is all right, and Vitality is looking very good right now. The problem um, with the you town is they don't. They don't try they as don't hard as no, they, they don't, don't work as hard as they do. They you can, you can see all. a clear difference between how many hours these guys are putting in right in front of you versus the people that I see in Europe doing well in their league. Okay. No, like, NA is a lot better than EU right now. It's like two to three times the amount of effort put in, to put in perspective. <laughs> so it's hard for me to say that EU has any candle of a chance. Okay. No, I still think they do. I think EU has like two teams that could win Worlds, and we have like yeah. we have four. No, yeah, by the way, you just gave me a perfect, like, clickbait title. You is you trash. trash. You is trash. And then in parentheses, the majority of you is trash. Just to be accurate, you know? I like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. team, you rock it, league. <laughs> we got the title. Zero so, we've seen a change in the meta to be more physical with more bumps and things of that nature. Is that true? Bump man himself should talk about it. Oh yeah, true. Go, go, go. Come on, bumper. Come on. Um, bumper. I I don't know. You said over the past year, definitely. Um, I wouldn't say it was just like a season thing, but like last or the season we did poorly was the season where we had like, I think I don't know the entire stat line or whatever, but we had a very small amount of bumps as a team, and the team that was doing the best had the most bumps. So it was like a clear difference, or de uh, demolitions. So it was like a clear difference, like a night and day difference of, I guess, how you should be playing, I guess. And then, I don't know. I think we just kind of, as a team, we tried to incorporate that. And I guess I was the, <laughs> the bump man. Um, <laughs> taking, the, take, taking the lead on that one. But I think all of us, we do kind of do it i think I, we get, just, like, I think the the meta is that everyone's playing so much faster and everyone's rotating around each other so much faster that there's there just has to be more bumps like people are using more boosts and yeah. um like that's why we kind of we kind of played faster our rotation was better that's why we had more bumps too all right good shit how did it feel to beat sonics for second place after that uh mm -hmm. Weren't those guys the guys, the guys that were talking trash all the time? No, oh, that no. was PK, PK. Oh, PK, yeah, yeah, motherfucker, yeah. yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> that guy got, <laughs> that got blown out. That guy yeah. is not returning to Twitter <laughs> anytime soon. 
He's yeah, not he returning actually... to his team anytime soon. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! Oh shit! He um, yeah, he doesn't really talk trash anymore. Yeah, he learned a lesson. He got a... Yeah, he kind of got put in his grave this season. Yeah, ha- have you watched the Michael Jordan documentary by the way? Yeah, yeah. it's so Some good. good shit, eh? Yeah, Some it's good really shit. good. Wait, I, okay, so we are seeing right now a clip with Rizzo mm-hmm. scoring against Sonics. There's no context to it. We're just looking at it. And we content team just put this in on a loop, okay? Because yeah. this goal from Rizzo is, is marvelous. You know, I, I, actually, I actually remember this, this game. I actually jumped from my seat. Yeah, this is where we had the perfect sweep. They didn't yeah. score a single goal. It was yeah. third ever in history. This actually got us second place, actually, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. guaranteed us. We had a three-one or three-zero. <laughs> yeah, oh, and we three. That feels good. Yeah, that it feels did, good for sure. We we have in our YouTube channel a couple of videos with voice comms and you guys, uh, but but what goes, you know, in that communication when those passing plays happen? Is it really a communication thing, or is it just that you guys play together for so long? Do you just know by instinct what's gonna it's happen? Like- it's like both like it's a combination we like this season especially we tried to perfect not perfect but you know try to perfect our comms as much as we could so it is like a lot of it's comms but it's also just being there like in positions we know we would be usually so just like muscle memory basically so like if i'm on the right side of the field and i don't even know where anyone else is i just expect like rizzo or chicago one of them to be mid and one of them to be behind me so it's like muscle memory so this is reed Ensuring the ball doesn't go through. Oh, oh shit! Wait, wait no. No. Is this the one where? No, like, no. Oh, we it. pass it. We no. pass it already. Yeah. Bro, it's so sick. Yeah, the other one was funny moments, though. Ooh. In those, oh goddamn! In those moments, like, honestly, I lose half my like my life spent. It, it, <laughs> it's so insane like i just jump from my seat all the time this is the best esport to watch period like, yeah it's just so hype dude like here i'm like no shit dude yeah, it's, it's so back and forth yeah i can believe it's so much harder like watching yeah, yeah like, i know it's 100 I'm, I'm, emotionally because yeah, you're yeah. just not yeah. really in control focused or whatever and if, if like one of you guys fake right and so the other yeah. guy comes in <laughs> like that fake Again, it just gives us a heart attack, you know? We, <laughs> yeah. Every single time, like every single time, I'm like, I'm like the worst person to watch a game like this with. Uh, but play the next clip. j what was the 200 IQ behind, behind this bump play? All right, I got to see it again. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, was so lucky. I was trying to chase the ball, and he just straight up got in my way. I hit him. I bump him right there into the ball, and then he hits it into his teammate, which lands on me, and then I get the 1v1 with the guy I you know, So he's all out of, like, form already. Sometimes... He's like, what the hell's going on here? Sometimes lack <laughs> is appreciated. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. we were a little unlucky. It, it goes both ways. Yeah, it goes both ways. Yeah, exactly. When is it expected that, um, that you guys will be, you know... Playing at, like, lands again, or...? No, not a man, sort online. of training again often and stuff like that. Like in the house or just like online in general? On, you know, in the house. Oh, uh, in the house? I don't know for them, but I'll probably be back in like two months, I'd say. Maybe three, a little less. Maybe two, a little less. But yeah. Wow. Yeah. Probably yeah. Like, that's that's what I'm doing. I just have I a think... feeling there's going to be some like tournament that's going to happen. Yeah, cause... I'm basically... So, like there was the Spring Series run by Rocket League. I'm assuming that there's going to be a, maybe a summer series like that to fill the online because of yeah. Corona. So basically, as soon as that gets announced, that's basically whenever that date's announced, that's basically when I'd probably be going back because that's a big enough tournament to where I would want to go back, get on better ping, and like try as hard as possible for it. Well, guys, thanks so much for your time. I hope you had a good time as well. And uh, that was the first episode of G2 Overtime. By the way, how, how do you like the title? It's a good title, right? Because we win overtime. Yeah, we win like, the fifth game that's and good. stuff like that. We like, we're crunch time yeah. players, you know? That's yeah, cool. oh. I like it. All right, guys. Love you, okay? And everybody else that right. follows the team loves you so much as well. Thanks so much, guys. <laughs>